If you don't already use NuVet, be sure to click the link in the description or use our code to order. an example of an unproblematic ear so ear hair is normal so we look in here and this hair is dry here there's no moistness it doesn't smell funny but there is hair so this hair is normal and I would just leave this hair there's no reason to pluck this out because I can clearly see into her ear canal but this this hair here is protective so I this ear I'd leave as is if I want to trim these I'll trim these but since we're leaving her long I'm not going to Normally when I trim their hair short, I don't want these sticking out. So I do um, trim those a little bit, but we'll check the other ear too and make sure this one's the same. And yeah, see this one's a beautiful ear. So there's no... Okay, so, and then this ear here. So that's beautiful. We don't wanna mess with this, so. The hair here is normal again, so you don't need to pluck any hair that's in there. This hair is actually protective. So you wanna leave it. Okay, so typically ear hair, you don't really need to pull. So if we look at Stormy's and her ear hair here, she is, she's developing like a little, you can kind of see it, it's kind of hard to see. She's developing a little bit of hair that's becoming problematic, so you can see this, how it's kind of matted. If it's not matted, I don't ever wanna mess with it because ear hair is normal. Uh, she's gonna lick my lens, huh? So this is actually ear powder, so I'm just gonna put a squirt of this, and all this does is kind of dry out the hair, make it more grippable. And then we're gonna take some of these. You can use your fingers too, but these I find these are easiest. So I'm just gonna isolate the hair that's pro problematic. And you just wanna make sure you don't um, clip their ear, and then you're just gonna twist. And it's gonna slowly pull. She's gonna. It's gonna pull that hair out. I'm just gonna twist it. And then it's gonna pull the hair out. So it doesn't feel great, but it's gonna come out. And it's not ripping any hair out, it's just feels funny. And then we're gonna look at her ear now. Good girl. I know, you freaked out a little bit. And then we'll look at her ear now. And now we can see in her ear. And it's nice and clear and no problem. So that was good. So let's try the other one now that she knows what to expect. She probably won't freak out as bad. Let's see if this one even needs it. So let's see. So yeah, she does have a little one developing here too. So same thing, I'm gonna take our ear powder. And it's just really powdery, so you're just gonna kind of squeeze the bottle in there. And it just kind of puts that powder in there. So again, I'll just isolate. I'm gonna split this up because it's quite a bit of hair and I don't wanna pull too much at once. I just wanna clean up this section that's causing problems. So right here, there's a nice grip of hair. So I'll just grip that, making sure that I'm only gripping hair and I'm twisting clockwise. So yeah, she's gonna freak out again. And then it comes out. So it doesn't feel great. You can see there's no there's no blood, there's nothing. It's just kind of jammed in there and you don't want it to be jammed in there. So they're gonna fidget and move around. Good girl. I know, that's not fun. Let me just kind of look in the air. I know, so then we're just gonna look in the air and make sure we cleared it up. 
It's a little red from where we cleared up the hair, but now you can see in the ear and it looks nice and clean. You did such a good job. You did such a good job. That's it, that's it, that's it. And I'll show you on one other dog and kind of compile this together. See if someone's a little less freak out. But again, you're, they might freak out like that, but she's fine. And uh, excuse you. And that's how we pull your hair.